I thought I'd invite you to join me on my very first um, live art in Cambridge City Centre today. Uh, first time I've done it um, outside of a church. So um, yeah, out of my comfort zone and um, first video diary as well. So bear with me. Um, first of all, um, I'm in the studio. So I'll show you what I'm taking with me and take it from there. Some spray paints, these are the sort that I use and um, I put my acrylic in little bottles so that I can take it with me. I've got my um, brushes, things to use for scraping and rolling and printing with and stencil sort of stuff. Um, my uni Posco pens, if you can see those, love those. And um, water, spray water. Um, baby wipes essential. So that all fits in this lovely um, pull along bag and um, I've got my giant easel <laughs> um, and the canvas and I'm hoping they're going to let me onto the bus. I prayed about this and um, yeah I feel that I've got um, a message to bring that um, is about how God loves to hear from us. He loves us to talk to him about everything and anything, that nothing is off limits with him. Uh, like an invitation to a freedom of speech with him. I sort of imagined a child being put in the corner and being told um, to keep quiet. You know, children should be seen and not heard and an invitation out of that situation really, that, um, that God loves to listen, that he loves the sound of our voice. Um, and the painting's called um, I'm All Ears. I've done um, a sketch, as you can see here, on my um, iPad, a digital sketch, but that's just to give me a feel of the sorts of colours and shapes, and um, we'll see whether it looks like that, I, I don't know, but that, that's what I've, um, perhaps how I've prepared for this. Um, yeah, so let's see where it goes. So they let me on the bus and um, actually I've already found that having an easel and a big canvas uh, makes for good conversations with people, so uh, good start. So I've made my way to uh, where I'm going to paint. Um, it's not a bad view, let me show you around. <laughs> A little bit windy uh, the sky is uh, yeah fairly great but it's not raining uh, so that'll do me it could be better for the beginning of May but um, yeah excited we've uh, been setting our easels up um, realized gaffer tape is really useful particularly when it's windy um, we have put our easels against the uh, railings to make sure that uh, they're not in people's way um, yeah, we've talked about risk assessment because um, obviously that's important to think that through. We've got public liability. Uh, we've got a few people here who um, are not painting and are be they'll be walking up and down and praying and, and engaging with people. Um, I've been writing the um, the meaning of my um, picture um, on some postcards as well as. Uh, engaging with people and talking it'd be good to uh, just have something that they can take away with them um, and uh, yeah sort of ponder on at home after after the event as well and I've got some business cards um, I was thinking it'd be good to have some postcards with my own information on um, then they've got you know it in one in one thing as well so I'll, I'll show you what it looks like set up um, and then get painting
to um, the end of our time painting. Um, let me show you uh, where we've got to with our painting. Okay, now we're all packed up. Um, our next plan is to uh, climb the tower of Great St Mary's just so that we can uh, pray over the space um, and finish that way. So, uh, yeah, up we go. reflecting on what things I've learned today. I think it's important um, to go with somebody else to do um, painting on the street. It gives you um, someone to partner with really when you're chatting with people um, and obviously new breaks, things like that. I found it really good to have something to hand to people. Um, I think in the future I'd um, write out the message that I've, of my painting on postcards in advance. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, uh, over 10, 15 postcards I ended up handing out to different people. And uh, website details or a way of contacting me uh, if they've got any questions or, or yeah, if they're interested in other stuff that I do as well. We talked about our paintings as um, prayer paintings rather than um, prophetic art. Um, it, it seemed to uh, make more sense to people to use the word prayer paintings. Uh, just explain that we're, we're sharing God's heart, sharing God's love with people. Chris uh, reminded me of um, Joshua 1 where it talks about um, wherever you set your foot um, you'll be on land that I've given you, says God. Um, and that, that sense of, of confidence really that um, yeah, that we, we um, have something to bring, uh, so we've found something um, so good that, that needs sharing and we're we're blessing people um, by telling them about God's love. Chris um, always aims at giving his pictures away to people, prays for, um, yeah, that, that God will just make it clear to him which people to, to offer um, to, for them to take them home. Um, obviously that each person's different and God will say different things to different people. I didn't feel this time led to, to give my painting to anybody and I've brought it home. Um, I want to do a little bit more to it uh, to, to feel that it's properly finished. Yeah, to, to conclude, it's um, a little bit scary. Um, it's physically quite tiring, but it's actually a really exciting um, experience. And, and actually, I found it an easy way of engaging with people about um, what I believe and, and love about God. Um, I love painting. It's something I'm made to do, and um, I felt I had a message to bring. And, and people were interested. People were asking me to tell me about my work and why, why are you here? Why are you painting? What are you painting? What's it about? Um, it, it was easy uh, in that sense and, and a real privilege and lovely um, to have spent my day um, telling people about God's love and about the fact that he loves to listen to them and answers prayer. And um, there were people f from all over the world um, chatting to us from Italy and China and it's been great and um, yeah. I recommend it and um, do get in touch if you have any questions um, otherwise go for it.